Welcome back to Phoenix Point, folks. We had a rough go of it in the last episode. We lost three guys uh, taking down a layer. So the Tiamat definitely needs to come over and recuperate right now. So the Manticore is going to head down here and do this mission for uh, Sinedrian, which will take us up to 50% supportive or Sinitrian or will be 50% aligned and that will give us access to all their tech which we want so Manticore head down here please but before we go in let's take a look acid weapons technology well we want that this technology integrates the corrosive fluid produced by acid worms into grenades and small caliber rounds. Although the process is entirely safe, a certain degree of caution in their use is nevertheless advised. Disciples of Anu Acid Handgun 10 Acid Burst 5 Cool And Sanctifier Mag And Disciples of Anu Acid grenade. Now that is really, really nice. That is really, really nice. We will queue up advanced acid, Terra Sentinel, and Pandoran Citadel. Now that sounds scary. Uh, equipment. Let's make some acid grenades. They're pretty cheap. Let's make a few of those. Let me, let's make some of these as well because that seems interesting. Okay. Get back to the geoscape. Bases. Um, let's see, we have. We have the training facilities here. We have four of them, I think. Or is it three? Three. And we have this base where we have some chasing labs. So we're getting eight now, which is really good. And we have this base. We also have some mutation labs and living quarters and a medical bay. And then we have this one where we have medical bay and training facilities and we have one dude let's build another training facility here can we afford it? we can afford it let's build another training facility we'll turn on that fabrication plant is anything turned off at the other bases? no alright, good good you escape, let's head down here Mission briefing. Our operatives have been tasked with investigating what happened to the individual who recovered the Firebird Initiative files. Unfortunately, the settlement where this individual lived appears to have been destroyed some time ago. With some luck, we may be able to retrieve a journal or notebook that could shed further light on this mystery. Let's start the mission. Okay. Everyone is ready. Everyone is geared up. So, uh, you're just gonna head straight in there. Okay, let's see what this mission is all about. So, what do we have? I guess there is a objective somewhere. Would be my guess. I don't see one right now, though. They're upstairs. Yes, there is. There it is. Okay, so we're heading over there, I guess. Alrighty. I'm here. Let's let's move someone who can actually shoot up first. We spotted a Chiron. At least it's not one of the bomber things. Goos. Goos. Okay. Goo abdomen chiron thingy. 
Then we have you. Send you up here. Visual. Alright, we can see some enemies. Jesus. What do they have? 240, shield, spitterhead, and pincer. No grenade launcher. But the spitterhead is dangerous enough in itself. All I need is a clear shot. Let's take the shot. Okay. You can take a shot as well. We really want to take the shots right now because right now we don't have. Right now they don't have their shields up. So that's nice. Go for as much of the head as we can. 100 damage, pretty good. We have you. Have you come up here. Alright, this one as well. Well, it damaged his torso. Ready for action. You can come up here. That is not a great shot. Well, they can't really do much, can they? Take a shot of that guy down there. And you'll come back into cover. And there's you. Let's come I'm over going. this way. And stand by. Wait for them to come forward a little bit. Oh, there's another one. And he can he spit? No. Good. I have not seen that guy. Ooh, and there's another one. They're kind of behind us. It's not so good. Can you spit or strike? You can strike. Ow. Disabled our leg. Ow. What the frick was that? Seems that they're just moving as far as they can. Okay, you. Let's heal, shall we? Now, what was this thing over here? We're gonna have to dash over there and take that out. Uh, you... Take this guy out. You... Dash... Over here. And you'll do rapid clearance. What? Yeah, let's do rabbit clearance. And... Let's strike. So that recovers two hit points and some will. And then we can come over here. And you know what? Wait a second. You fire. Confirming target. Eh, fire. Uh. Hmm. I don't have to wait until I can shoot the leg. 
Right, so he's half dead. I'm here. Which means that you can strike. At which one? I think it's this one. Yeah. He's dead. Get two action points back. Ready for action. You come up here. Fire at the arm. That is not enough. <sighs> Dang it. Have you? Can't dash or anything, but you can. Dash in here. Can't see anything. But we can throw a grenade. Maybe. We can't throw a grenade. Dash again. Over here. Should reveal him for us. In chameleon, double perception, spawn mist, spawn mist. You have a Nagal's Wrath. That's what hurts so much. But now. You can maybe take him out. I'm certainly take out his face, maybe? No. Right, but he moved towards us, which was pretty nice. Where'd he go? There. So if we shoot at the post, or just Is it something like that? That completely whiffed. Okay. Heading we'll come out. out here. Ready to fire. Nice. Nice. And there's you. You are going to strike. Kill him. And then you can actually dash over Gotta here. Going. Hello. Now, do you have an Agol's Wrath as well? You do. It's kind of scary. Strike you. Disabled his arm, that's good. You can't do anything. You can Let's go. move up here at least. Okay. We took out a few of them. We missed it up. Ow. Right, he is coming in now, he's alerted. But I don't think he'll be able to go on this turn. Ow! Oh. This is a mean mission, man! Don't oh, do it again. Thank you. Heal up. That thing is still there. We know that much. Heading it. There it is. But I can't do anything about it. So just head over here. You can do something about it. And then you can. Grenade in here if you can. That blew up the wall at least. Okay, you heal up. Now we need to take that thing out over there. What 
if you come over here, there it is. Ready to engage. And where's his pistol arm? That's that one. Gotcha. Oh, we disabled his torso. We can't hide. We got his head. We threw another grenade in here. Just Crunch time. Dash over here. And where is the guy? Where the heck is he? Guess he's there. But I'm not sure. Can you throw a yes. grenade that far? Yes, you can. Right. So then you can fire. Sure. Uh, are we over? Here, uh, here he is. Did we hit? I don't think we hit. Uh, you could dash over here and finish this guy off. Keep on pushing. Zooming in. He's gone at least. On the mark. Well, he's gonna bleed out, right? Yeah. Because he does not have regen, right? Nope. Alright, in that case, let's start shooting at this guy. running away oh, he missed that is very very good okay. how far can you dash not very you can dash a few times dash uh, what dash Dead. Okay. Now, how many will points do you have? Thirteen. I would very much like you to dash in and Oh, she doesn't have a and it was also the wrong guy. It's this guy I would like to do this. He has no will points. I need this. Okay. Aiming. You can take a shot. If we can take out his head, he would lose a lot of will points. Comes online. Don't know why it's looking weird like that. It might be because of the goo, I guess. Just gonna throw some bullets into it. Alright, its head is da disabled. So it is down to 10 will points. We have you. 
We can shoot a couple of times. Run away! I need to catch you. Pull. Right. You. Uh, does it have the stop thing? No, it does not. Dashing to the coordinates. You run over here. And next time, you will start stunning this guy. You... Let's come up here and be ready to end the mission as soon as we have stunned this thing. And then we'll just space everyone. of the mist. Let's see. Right. Eight paralysis. Eight of seventy two. Okay. Here. Still a 72. Jesus, 72? Well... Sixteen... Twenty-four... If we shoot it a few times, shouldn't it go down? Fifty-two, okay. That's better. How much health does it have left? 91. And it's bleeding 20, so we're not going to shoot it anymore. And he didn't move. Ready. So now we can <coughs> stun him finished. Unless we kill him. I think we might kill him. Oh, he's paralyzed. Let's end the mission. Objective. And that's the mission. And we caught a Chiron. Very nice indeed. Very nice indeed. No, no deaths. Three level ups. And we caught Chiron, and we are now uh, aligned with Synedrian. That is fantastic. Fantastic. Go back to the Geoscape. How unexpected. The journal seems to suggest that the research was recovered by the Phoenix Project. I assume that you are unaware of this. Presumably due to the near collapse your organization suffered after the severe cutbacks of the early 21st century. Apparently, the surviving research was stored at a Phoenix base designated Storage Facility 4. Not a terribly inventive naming scheme. <laughs> no, you're right about that. To complicate matters, before the collapse, the local government sold Storage Facility 4 to Abaddon Tusk one of the billionaires that resulted from the old political system's malfunctioning distribution of resources, who turned it into a shelter for his company. Eccentric and possibly sociopathic to begin with, he has been driven to new extremes, styling himself Pirate King and leading violent raids on defenseless havens. Doesn't sound like a very nice dude. We'll deal with this would-be king. I calculate a 98% chance of armed conflict resolution. 
Well, I'm pretty sure it's 100. All right. 100 tech, 200 materials, 200 food, side added to Geoscape, the man who would be Pirate King, a new diplomatic mission from Sinedrian. Okay. Very good. And, man, I thought that this would take us to 50, but I guess we have to do this other mission first. That's a crying shame. But... I wonder, where is our Tiamat? Where's Tiamat? It's there. Let's send you over here first. Maybe we can switch between... Going to need to manufacture some more of these. Okay, if we can switch over, then we'll send someone from here, the snipe. Oh, one, two, three, five, six. Uh, we'll send the sniper. Switch you over to the team at two. Because then you will go get that sniper there. We have, what, four level ups. That's very nice. You need some equipment as well. Ammo. Why did it not get filled up automatically, I wonder? Just want to make sure that everyone have what they need. Okay. Everyone has what they need. Tiamat is up to six units. Because we got the sniper from the other guys. And they will be at six units as well once they pick up Bernard. At uh, Phoenix Aeronautics. Right, so... Um, Tiamat 2. We're still heading over here to heal up. Uh, Manticore... You are heading over to Phoenix Aeronautics to heal up and pick up a loot. Okay. So research-wise, we have Chiron, Vivisection, and Pandoran Goo. So we'll add those. And I think we'll put them above the Pandoran Citadel. Because that just sounds like researching that is going to be scary. The largest type of Pandoran structure, a citadel acts as a huge control complex, directing all Pandoran activity in a vast region. Citadels are home to the largest and most terrifying Pandoran creatures. Various games will now detect Pandoran colonies. That scares the living crap out of me, to be honest. I don't think we need to reverse. Uh, we do, because it's the Jericho tech. So we will reverse engineer that, because they're actually quite good. All right. So as soon as these guys are healed up, I think we'll go do the Pirate King mission thing. I guess it's up here. Yeah. But it would be nice to pick up a couple of guys. Are Mutog. What is that? Uh, the disciples of our elite training centers provide increased military force and producing our priest fighters are created through advanced mutations and chemical stimulation. I have no idea what a Mutog is, but I want one. So I think. Was it here? It was. So let's unload everyone. Let them stay there and heal up and get a bit of training. And then we will send the Tiamat over to recruit this Mutalk guy. Let's see what that is. Oh, that takes up three spaces. Uh, vehicles? 
Ooh, a Mutog. Okay. It's one of the War Beast things. All right, that's actually pretty interesting. I'm looking forward to trying that. I am looking forward to trying that. I am really looking forward to trying that. Jesus, that is cool. Uh, so, can we see its characteristics? No, guess not. Okay, but we will when we get into base. Let's head back home. So that means that we can only take five people out with this thing, but that's okay. Uh, that's okay. We will do that. But we will do it in the next episode, guys. We are out of time. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.